So this morning I learned that SolidWorks is now including a maker license along with their student license for SolidWorks. Now have they learned their lesson from Autodesk with Fusion 360 that's become widely popular? Um, let's find out. All right, so it seems that SolidWorks over the last couple of years has learned a lesson from Autodesk and as of recently, I don't know the exact date, I think it was right around the beginning of the year, which is today is the first of the year, but around, around the beginning of the month, the last month, they've decided to come out with a maker license, which is attached to their student license. What this now means is someone like most of the guys watching this and myself, who aren't making millions of dollars or using it as an actual job, can now play with SolidWorks instead of just fusion which one you want to use I don't know I kinda like fusion but it does have its moments where I get mad at it but anyways I haven't actually done this yet so let's download it and see if it actually works so here's the URL to go get it now you're gonna need a URL and a code So you go down and you download, go to their download page, I should say, and you'll get this form. I already have a serial number. No. Trial code. All right. So you'll need a code. In this case, I have one off of uh, one of the groups on Facebook. I think I got it. It is, that's wrong. It's 918 Maker. version I, I don't know type in your email address please select the following student teacher hobbyist so that's new request to download Files created with SolidWorks Community Access contains an academic only use watermark. Aha! That might be an issue. That might be an issue. Below is your student serial number. Download for Windows. Oh, and there's another issue. It's for Windows only. So I am done. If you have a Mac, it will not work. And it's also going to have a watermark on it, which makes it so I'll just stick with Fusion. So that's the end of that. That was quick. <laughs> um, it's not as great as it sounds. And um, anyone with Windows who's tried it, let us know. Post a link or... If you did a video, if I can find any videos on it, I might add their links to the to this video. But if you have a Mac and you care about it having a watermark on it, now I don't know how they're going to watermark a 3D item, um, but I'm sure it's possible. Uh, I don't know if it'll you know export or do anything. But there you go. If you have a Windows unit, you can at least try it. So, I guess that's the bust right there, um, at least for me. Again, if you got a Mac, and you know, I'm, I'm a smaller percentage. There's lots of people out there with Windows. If you have Windows, and you get it, and it works for you, let us know. Post in the comments. Um, my biggest thing is, even if I had Windows, with the watermark on it, does it, you know, print it into the 3D? When you save it as an STL, will it save as an STL? It may not even let you. I don't know, because I can't download it. I can't run it. I'm on a Mac. Um, yes, I'm the smaller population, so it's not that big a deal. But uh, it does eliminate, eliminate a lot of people. Uh, but, man, eh, it, doesn't, it doesn't sound like it's as great of a thing as I was hoping. And I don't see Fusion 360 fading out now that SolidWorks has a um, maker license that they never had before. And the price is ridiculously high for the full version. So there it is. If you have it, if you're on Windows, let us know. Post up a video. Link it. Let me know. Um, but for me, 
I'll be using Fusion 360 for a while longer.